Hello guys. Hello. How is it going? So I will wait till everybody comes in to kind of talk about yesterday a little bit. Yesterday unfolded to be quite the day. Yes, I'm taping my mat because I want to do a project, but I don't have all my new mats in yet. We're supposed to arrive yesterday. They are not here yet, so or they were supposed to come today. Let's just see if that happens. But yesterday turned out to be quite the day. Just Shit, hit the fan last night. Um, all right. So. Needless to say, I am supposed to be taking it easy today. FYI. Because of what went on yesterday. And I will explain. Yesterday went kind of nuts. One second while I get this going. Going, I'll kind of explain what went on. Just trying to cut this piece. That is not wow. Yes, Jimmy, we hear you. Hang on. Must have a little bit so. These mats are all dead. But I have to wait for the rest of my mats, which is okay because I can do the one process I wanted to do today. The bird's going crazy. Sorry. So yesterday, after I got off stream, shit quite literally hit the fan. It was it was crazy. Pretty crazy. I was having some stomach pain. We're actually gonna end up over here, by the way. I was having some stomach pain and some cramping, and I ended up having a lot of rectal bleeding. To the point of, I was nervous. I'm not normally nervous when it comes to my rectal bleeding because it happens. This was a lot, comparatively. So we ended up at the ER. Um, they wouldn't let Hannah stay because bowel issues are a sign of COVID. So I, w I was there by myself, let's just say that. Not too fun. 
Um, so they decided they didn't do imaging. They did run some blood work. Um, everything looked okay. Like there was no major blood loss. It was kind of just that one bout of it. There was no evidence of a lot of blood loss. So everything was good. The weird thing is my white count is sky fucking high. Um, so we think either a massive immune response, which honestly, if things don't shape up, I will definitely get checked out because it could be, you know, something like pouchitis or something. All right. Needless to say, things were not happening real, I mean, things were not feeling real great. So, um, but they did act, they tried to access my port. The nurse was not listening to what I was telling her. And we had some problematic access of the port. I hate when people don't listen to me. Drives me crazy. Legit. And, um, and turn this on. But uh, we got it figured out enough. So, yeah. So I am chilling today, like 90% of the time. Yeah. But I am very, very tired today. I'm really in pain. I'm freaking nurse digging around my port, not listening to me. Bear with me for a moment. A little bit of this out. I gotta kind of iron it down and not iron it down per se, but I gotta do a little bit of movement here. I don't really care if it's incredibly centered on here. Go past that because that's gonna be a little problematic spot. Okay. Now my thing I need is right here. So let's try to do this without ripping it. Oh, this stuff is so sticky. Shouldn't rip, but you never know. By the way, freezer paper can be used as a stencil because it does iron on, which is really cool. I probably don't need it at 350, but we're going to. So this is going to be kind of a painted on one. I'm going to cut, maybe not. I don't have my other scissors. Yes, I do. They're right here. some school probably when she gets out of school. We may see about running over to Hobby Lobby or um, Joanne's or something. This doesn't take much with this stuff. So. that no um I just need to kind of look at where these go real quick so he goes this way Ish. all right so littlest piece where are you you are not over here okay 
Wait a minute, let me think here. Missing two pieces actually. That's interesting. That's okay. I gotta fix them. You go, I think, right here. Go oh, here. Yeah, I'm a little bit close. That's okay. I'm not that picky about it. Okay. Let's see if I can find the piece. Looks like I may have found the way. That's okay, though. I can I can work with that a little bit. This one on? Like my day. Where you go? You go right there. There's the big one. Okay. So I'm just missing a little one at this point. It's just gonna be pretty easy to get. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is just blocking out some spots. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this in here. Probably draw that. Well, we're gonna go ahead and cut it actually. I have enough left over that we're gonna draw it and cut it. It's pretty easy to cut that out. I think that's all of them all. This is the only one I was missing. Strong. Thank you. Now, of course, as soon as I get in here, my light goes away, so I'm gonna have to turn on my light. I think that's the only paper. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Hopefully this won't um, bleed onto the shirt. It's not that big a deal if it does because I'm kind of doing it in black anyway. Or like a navy, like a dark blue. So that should go right there. Not perfect, but it's better than nothing. There we go. So that should be all I need for right now. Go ahead and turn that off. I think we're gonna go ahead and 
my board in there. That's why it's not white. No, I don't want to sit tall enough. No. Okay. We're going to have to cut a cardboard then. Okay, it hurts. Of course, my light goes away. Give me one second. Oh, I know what I can use in there. Uh -huh. I knew that I had a plan. So, I have a little bit of a, of a uh, Hobby Lobby slash Joanne's haul here from the other day. Sorry, Mike. All right, let's go through everything here. And my Christmas presents that I got. And that's my heat room for resin, which I will use eventually. To get orders done. I need those coupons actually come now. When are these good? Till the third of December through January 30th. Definitely gonna enjoy them. Okay. I end up buying two of No, I already bought one. I forgot I had a yummy thing in here. So I kind of bought the, the gambit of rainbow colors here for painting. And I bought baby Yoda colors too. I bought myself a knife for later. Okay. So I have, I think a good stitch colors here. These are planned for my, um, mostly we're just gonna be using black. I forgot paper plates. Um, stick these over here for now. Yeah, I'm dumping things everywhere. Yeah. But right now we're just using the black. I got some stitch colors, which is awesome. Um, at least. Oh, where did I put my paintbrush that I want? It's over here. There it is. So the only reason I would so yes. no, I don't use one of these. These kind of work great for storing your paints. If you need hey CJ, welcome in. There's apple. There we go. Get that off. These work really well for storing paint, kind of. At least for the moment. Let's see here. I don't know if these have a cover on them. They're cold. I'm very brave doing this without doing this on a brand new shirt, mind you. So wouldn't normally do this. But just use a little bit of this. A little bit of this. Just because I kind of want the outline. Where did he go? I want that too. Maybe we'll see. Uh, 
Shit. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Once I was so clear, it's up. Uh, my clothes are hanging on. Oh, good. It didn't yet. So, basically, you just have to put a layer in here so it doesn't soak through. Yeah. There we go. You just want a gentle little layer here. And you're going to probably do a couple more layers of this, but. I was trying to decide if I'm just going to go ahead and probably paint a layer of black all through it, just a light layer. Kind of still debating that one. Here. Probably will. Just for an outline effect, I think. But. I don't know if I. There's just an outline thing right here. No, okay. There's not seem to be outlined right there. That's all right. Um. Okay. This is going to be a couple of days process, by the way, guys. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and bleh. we're going to go ahead and go ahead and kind of do a little black layer underneath just a light one. That'll help any colors pop. I should have left his ears though, because those are perfect. That's okay though. So what we're just gonna do is kind of do a black, just a gentle black layer, and that'll kind of help everything pop later on. Any more things more trying, but that's okay. I'm just trying to be really careful because I have a brand new shirt on. I am stupid, just to say the least. been a really long time since I've painted shirts, so I will say that much. I actually painted it, yeah.
This is just going to be here. Okay. Now it closes up that one. I think it's just a little uh, spot. I don't want it sticking to this really, so. No, at least not in this manner. I'll kind of let do it thing a little bit. Normally I'd be using cardboard on here. We need a teeny bit more on that here. Still pretty pinky. Oh well, happy anniversary to them. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to go find some spots that need a little bit extra here. It's a sucky paintbrush. All right. That one gets to dry. I do not have all the stuff for my um, finishing any of these products, but <clears throat> but I think I can actually go ahead and take this actually off. Yeah. This part is done. Oh, I got paint. Oh well. Oh well. It's just paint. It does not wash off. <laughs> That'll actually kind of help this lay out a little bit smoother.
Now what I can do, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and test out my heat gun a little bit and give it a little bit of a dry. Not that it's really gonna matter today, but I wanna see, I'm gonna try it anyway. This is my brand new heat gun, baby. I've never ever used this before. does not stay real hot, which is great. But I am probably not gonna be on real long, guys, just because I don't have all the stuff to do this. But I think we got something. Might have to pick up a set of paintbrushes here. But yeah. At the beginning, though. Yay! No. Excuse me. Like I said, I am resting today a lot. So I was not able to do any work today because I had to let my. You guys can't really see it, but I'm pretty swelled up around here because they had to. Re, the nurse was. The nurse was rather incompetent yesterday <laughs> when it comes to accessing ports. So in my port, it's brand new. There's not scar tissue built up yet. So you have to kind of hold it. You have to grip it pretty good when um, you're when you're in, you're putting the needle in. So you kind of have to hold it and, and put the needle in. She kept holding it, finding it, pressing it. Okay, got it. Good. Then she'd stick it in and wouldn't hold on to it. So I was like, lady, I have never accessed my own port, and I know this. And um, so she did it like three times. And then at the end, we have to hep lock it. It's called hep locking. You put heparin in it. Um, and that causes the line to stay clear of blood clots and all that. She had to get a different nurse in there to do it. And that nurse got it immediately. I'm like, all of that. And I have to learn to speak up for the needs and stuff of that type of thing. So anyway, ugh. But we got it worked out. I'm just resting. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this because this is something very easily uh, turned on by the cats. I'm going to go wash my hands, get the fan off, and then go to finish resting. I know it's a really short stream, but I'm resting today. So we should be feeling a little bit better tomorrow. Hopefully, the bleeding has stopped. I haven't gone to the bathroom yet, which is a good sign. So hopefully, everything's calmed down. But I will see you all tomorrow. Either way, have an awesome night, guys.